Greetings, everybody. Let's get this thing started. Panda here, and today, guys, I am here to chit chat with you about a topic. Okay, I don't like to complain. I'm not really a big complainer, especially not on my channel. I mean, I'm here to have fun, so I rather not talk about things that make me rage. I just want to talk about stuff I love. But Yesterday, especially, the community was flipping out because we did not get a trailer reveal. I'm actually not entirely surprised. I don't think we will see this map until a little bit later in the month of July. But, I want to today talk about something that I personally am getting sick of seeing that I hate to see in zombies. Something I do not want to see in DLC 3. Now, this I think has gone under the nose of so many people, okay? But I'm here to spark a conversation, to bring a light to a situation. If you guys cannot tell by my terrible puns what I'm hinting at, let me explain, okay? We have seen the use of electricity so, so, so much in zombies, especially in Black Ops 3, and I'm getting sick and tired of it. You may be like, Panda, what are you talking about? We don't see that much electricity. All right, think about it, okay? We have the Wundawafa. That was a given. I mean, I knew that was probably the first thing that came to most of your minds. We also have the Ragnaroks that when you put them down, they can make an electric force field around you. We have the Skull of Nonsapwe in Zetsubo no Shima that also electrifies the zombies. We have the electric traps in the giant. We have the Death Ray in Derizendraka, which also gives off electricity. We have the Dead Wire Double Pack-A-Punch ability. Once again, electricity. Storm Bow, which of course has to be the best bow that once again has some electricity and electric effect on the zombies. And then I didn't even realize this, even the damn beast mode in Shadows of Evil has an electric attack to shock and turn on the power. Guys, that is nine things right there. I could even be missing a few. I think I got them all. As I like kept making this, I was like, okay, four things. Okay, six things. Okay, now nine. Like, it is so many electric effects. Almost half of the wonder weapons or specialist abilities have some sort of electric effect. Don't get me wrong, it looks beautiful. It really does look stunning, especially with those next gen graphics. And that's great, but Treyarch, man, please, please, DLC 3, no freaking electricity, none. How about we do some fire? Or a little bit of like, I don't know, earth. Let's just make this some damn avatar. Earth, fire, wind, something. Like, dang. I don't know. I just hope that they, from here on in, let's do something besides electricity. Please, for the love of God, let the specialist weapon not have electricity to it. Please, please, please. Treyarch, please, okay? Fire. Please give me a freaking flamethrower in this map. I know a lot of people have been hinting at it because we've seen the dragons and obviously dragons typically shoot fire out of their mouth or they breathe fire, however you want to say it, but leave it to Treyarch and we will have electric freaking breathing dragons. Okay, listen, Treyarch, cut it out, cut it out. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, if there was some sort of special ability that you could give to weapons in Black Ops 3, what would it be? It doesn't even have to be an element. It can be. It doesn't have to be. I would just love to hear your guys' opinions. And on that note, guys, I'm out of here. I'm sending you good vibes. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Panda.